Hello Cheryl, this is Cole Harvey. I spoke this morning regarding this beautiful 2013 Dodge Durango Crew Edition. This one has 6,610 miles on it right now. I'm just going to do a quick walk around on the outside, get you a good view of the paint. Also then I'll jump on the inside and show you the interior of the vehicle as well. A couple of the features on there. This one does have the keyless entry on it. Also has a power lift gate, which I will show you here in a moment. Also has the backup camera, which you can see right here. Nice tow hitch on it as well, just in case you ever need anything to tow. Also have the keyless entry option on the passenger side as well. Get back to the front here. I'll show you the inside of the engine compartment, and then we'll jump on the inside of the vehicle and show you some of the interior. Here's the inside of the engine compartment here. As I said, it's 6,000 miles on it. This thing looks brand new here. Engine's still very, very clean. Everything's easy to access. All of your maintenance things are highlighted in yellow there making it real easy to keep track of everything and of course up here you have your battery battery plug for your if you ever need to jump it jump somebody else now that I got you a good look at the inside of the engine compartment I'll get on the inside of the car for you before I jump on the inside I did want to show you this quick feature it does have which is the auto start all you do is lock the vehicle and then you press this little times two button twice Push that twice and hold it. The vehicle starts up. It's real nice when it's hot outside and you're walking out to your car. The vehicle does stay locked. Um, gets the AC running for you or when it's cold, gets the heat running. It's a nice feature to have. And as soon as you walk up to the side, you just place your hand on the handle and it automatically unlocks for you. You can also press this button here to go ahead and relock the vehicle. Jump on the inside here and show you some of the interior. It does have the memory option for the seat, so you can set different seat positionings here. One or two, and the seat will automatically slide to that positioning. The vehicle is super clean. Get you a shot of this, and then I'll jump to the back seats as well. Get you a good shot of the inside here in the back. This one does have the bucket seats here, as you can see. And they will fold down if you need some extra space for anything here. Back seat, all the leather's in great shape, looks very good. You see in the back here, there is a two heated seats. These front captain's chairs are heated, and then you have your house plug there. It's a 110 volt, or 115 volt, I'm sorry. Plug up phone charger there in the back seat or anything else that you got. And just press trunk button here twice. And it's open up there. You can also do that just by using the handle on the door as well, or on the tailgate. And then right down here you can press this button to close it. These seats right here will fold down as well. Very easy for more cargo room. When you have these nice straps to pull it back, go ahead and hit this. Close up. Now I'll jump in there on the inside. First thing I'll note once we're on the inside here is your vehicle information system that's controlled all through the steering wheel here. That'll show you everything from your tire pressure to your oil life, things like that. And so you don't have to, have to actually calculate it. If you're paying attention and your car will just tell you um, whatever you do need to perform any kind of maintenance. Over here on the middle, you do have dual climate control here, separate temperatures for each side of the cabin. And this is all touchscreen. It does have satellite radio capability as well. Your phone controls here. You also have your phone controls over here as well. Once you have your phone hooked up, you can make all your calls, go through your contacts, things of that nature. Of course, you have your heated seats as well. And this right here turns on that 10 volt in the background. And when you're backing up, you can press this button right here, and the rear headrest will fold down. That one's already folded down from where I opened up or laid the seat back, but if you press that, that'll come down to give you a better look behind you. 
inside the glove box, you do have that 12 volt plug right there. And also up here you have a USB port so you can charge your phone or manage your hard drive. Of course, there's an actual storage on the vehicle. I think it's about 40 gigs. You can uh, store pictures, obviously, and any kind of music straight onto the hard drive itself so you don't have to waste your battery on your phone or anything like that. So that's pretty nice. It also has the navigation setting here as well. So pretty loaded on this one. Obviously, you see the push to start here. It has that key, keyless start as, as well as keyless entry, and then you've never got to take your pocket, the key out of your pocket. So that's pretty nice. All right, Cheryl, thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any other questions, you have my direct phone number, which is in the video description below. That's 504-224-9994. Feel free to text or call me with questions. Other than that, I will uh, see you tomorrow, hopefully, uh, when you go to Ikea. And you can come in here and check out this beautiful Durango as well. Thank you once again. I appreciate it.